Hello and welcome back to Azure Terraformer. I am still in Beijing and I'm still drinking red tea and I'm still going through your mail. Today the question comes in from M. Loscott. He says, thanks for the informative video as always. To me, it's quite confusing in general what the Azure Compute Gallery expects to exist before Packer builds an image especially that there are notions of Azure image template, image definition, image, image version. It's too difficult to get lost in the chicken egg issue. I, I feel your pain, M. Loscott, and the confusion is, is definitely there. Um, what, the best way that I can explain it, and I think I'm going to drop into the whiteboard today in order to attempt that, is uh, when, when we think about how Packer works, we, we think about, we, we have to think about Packer as being completely isolated from the, from the target platform that it's building the image on. When we run Packer, it is completely focused on building that image. Um, and so whatever, wherever that image ultimately resides, Packer doesn't care about. Um, Packer just needs a place to store that image. Um, and so whether that place is, um, you know, an AWS subscription, whether that place is uh, a resource group on Azure, whether that place is an Azure compute gallery, Packer doesn't care. And frankly, it's not Packer's job to care. Um, Having those things, having that place for that image to go is platform specific. And Packer being a platform agnostic tool, it doesn't want to have any part in, you know, building or man maintaining or managing the place that the image gets created. So from Packer's boundary perspective, it's extremely clear. And I'm sure the maintainers of Packer and, and Packer's builder plugins the Azure RM plugin, the uh, AWS plugins, you know, the M, I think AWS EBS plugin, right? Whoever's maintaining those plugins for Packer are very, very clear that their job is not to set up any of that, you know, the bucket that the image is going to get put into, right? And their job is not to define what that image is. So basically, you got to think about Packer as totally dependent on something else to, to create the bucket or the container that you're going to put the image into. So in the case of an Azure Compute Gallery, you need to have the container that the image is going to get created in. And that's specific to the Azure Compute Gallery. The Azure Compute Gallery defines its own topology of images. Right, as you mentioned in your in your uh, question to me, right? If you are not going to use an Azure Compute Gallery and you're just going to use an image, right, on Azure, then Azure defines that container for the image to be placed into as a resource group. So the Azure provider or plugin for ARM. This, this, this piece of component right here, this ARM plugin, really is defining a couple of different strategies you know, that, that can produce images. Um, and those strategies are built into this uh, plugin right here, this builder. Um, so some platforms may only have one strategy. Um, some might have a whole bunch. ARM has at least two that I'm aware of. You know, one is, hey, I just want to create a managed image and I'm going to dump it into a resource group, right? So that is, you know, let's say strategy one. The, the second strategy that the ARM plugin for Packer implements is, hey, I have this thing called an Azure Compute Gallery and I want to drop an image into that. Now, in order to do that, you need to have an Azure Compute Gallery, but that's not all that you need. Because Azure Compute Gallery defines its own you know, realm of existence, an image in Azure Compute Gallery is not the same as just a managed image stuffed into a resource group on Azure. So you have to know like, how this strategy structures the container for the image. This is a little bit like that Russian doll syndrome where you have 
the big doll and you open it up and there's a little doll inside and you open it up and there's another little doll and it keeps going. I don't know how many, I don't know how many Russian dolls there are at the, you know, at the bottom when you get to the teeny tiny little Russian doll. But that's kind of what's going on with the Azure Compute Gallery, except not as extreme. With the Azure Compute Gallery, we have a resource group that the Azure Compute Gallery lives in. We have the Azure Compute Gallery itself. Then we have an image definition within the Azure Compute Gallery. Now, the actual container that the Packer ARM provider is going to be producing the image in, it's not actually called just an image. It's called a image definition version, right? Now, this whole concept of an image version is because we're using Azure Compute Gallery. With a regular managed image, or just an image in, in Azure world, there's no concept of a, of a, of a version. If you want to have a, you know, multiple versions of the image, you just create more images and you create some wacky naming convention you know, of, for, the image, for the image names, right? And tag and add tags or whatever you want to do. Um, that's because that strategy has a relatively simple topology. There's only one construct, and that's an image. Images have names. They don't have versions, right? But with Azure Compute Gallery, you have this topology where you have the gallery, definitions, definitions, you know, have a management layer, all to and of themselves. Um, within the image definition, you can have a history of versions. The version is actually what the image is. It's very confusing, right? The equivalent of this managed image over here on strategy number one to the same thing on strategy number two is this concept of an image version. And that's because of the structure of the Azure Compute Gallery itself. So really the chicken and the egg situation, it depends on the strategy that you want to use to build those Packer images. If you're going to use strategy number one, then what does Packer need to have in order to place that image? Well, all it needs is to have a resource group and Packer will be more than happy to produce an image and drop it into that resource group and call it a managed image. Now, if you're going to use strategy number two, you're going to have to set up some more things, right? And I've done some videos about how to, how to set these things up. And these things have to be set up before you run Packer, right? Because it's not Packer's job to go set up the container that it's going to put stuff into. Packer's job is to make the thing and then put it into the container. You have to go produce the container and then tell Packer where the container is. So now if we're going to use strategy number two, we're going to use Azure Compute Gallery. That means we need to have a resource group. We need to have more things, right? We need to have a resource group, just like normal. We need to have an Azure Compute Gallery. And then within that Azure Compute Gallery, we need to have an image definition. And that image definition is the container that Packer is going to put the image into. And it doesn't, when Packer puts the image in this container, Azure doesn't call it an image right, because of the strategy we're using, it calls it an image version. So that's it. So this is, uh, this is due to the design of the target platform, of Ad, you know, which is Azure, and the fact that Azure has two distinct ways of managing images, either just very low level using uh, the image resource itself, or using an Azure Compute Gallery, my favorite, method of doing this, which has its own topology and its own vernacular for describing what the image is within that. And so um, Packer is adapting itself to that target platform the way that it should, you know, which is relying on that ARM provider, right, to abstract the implementation detail of the target platform away from Packer. You know, Packer shouldn't have to be aware of, you know, that all the craziness that's happening on every single platform. That's what that plugin is for. So that Azure specific magic 
the fact that we have these two strategies for implementing images is encapsulated in that ARM plugin for Packer. And every platform out there that, that has a plugin for Packer is going to implement its own magic with as many image creation strategies as they have. Uh, and that is going to vary from platform to platform. Likewise, the implementation of those plugins are going to vary and implement each of those strategies if, if they have more than one. So I hope this helps kind of understand how Packer works, how it brilliantly implements the strategy pattern, very much like Terraform, right? Where there's a core executable Packer that is very reliant on these plugins that encapsulate the implementation details of the target platform. And those plugins themselves can be very, very complex, right? As we saw with the Azure ARM Packer plugin, Packer Builder plugin, that's, that's a mouthful, which implements two different strategies for building images on the Azure platform. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you for the questions. Keep them coming. I really enjoy um, you know, hearing your questions and being able to add additional context that I hope you find helpful um, and drawing on my nice whiteboard here. If you like this video and you want to see more of it, please smash that like button and do consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps out a lot. Until next time, this is the Azure Terraformer signing off.